Now, a lot of you guys may be wondering, why is it that, you know, these successful guys, this is the question that you, you, you will be asking yourself when you start embarking on this journey of evolution and growth. You start recognizing that a lot of these successful people, they have got a very small group around them, you know what I mean? They have got... You don't meet those kind of guys in concerts, you know? You know, they're in concerts, these big events, I don't know, they're everywhere, they're all over the place. <laughs> guys, you know, this awakening will open you up to a whole new world that you cannot even imagine. You will start to understand these people, how they have been thinking all along. Successful people, they have got a very small circle around them, you know? But you know what is the funny part? Those people were once ordinary like everybody else, okay? So they were used to doing things like everybody else. Even at one point, they had a 9 to 5 job, you know? And then something just happened, and they blew up. Something just happened, they blew up, you know? They went into some craft or whatever, ideas, whatever. They invented something and they blew up. But those people they had, once upon a time, they had a very big group of people around them, okay? By the way, I'm walking, so this video is going to be a vlog. Now, you know, <coughs> I'll share something with you, ladies and gentlemen. When you're still an ordinary person like everybody else, and you're meant for greatness. Something, something. Uh, God is going to download a very powerful idea in your head, and that idea is going to move you out and propel you into greatness. Okay, success, and you know, you you will come up with it. Can be anything, and for some reason, you're going to start accumulating success, achieving success, and accumulating wealth. But there is something that, have, that has happened at the turning point of your journey. You know what happened? God has revealed to you who your enemy is. I'll repeat this for you one more time. At a certain turning point at your journey, no matter who you are, ladies and gentlemen, I've been watching a lot of these, these people. We celebrate we celebrate and they have said one thing in common there's one thing in common that I've, I've usually had there was a turning point in their lives when they started realizing that they were around the wrong people family members you know friends I don't know husbands wives they were around the wrong people ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something before you awaken, you will never understand who is around you. You will not even figure out the real people that you need on your journey. You will think, you, you will think usually that you need to go with everybody else. So mostly you will think that, ah, okay, I'm going to start up this business, I'm going to start up this thing, whatever, and you won't take everybody else with you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been there. I have been there, ladies and gentlemen, when I was starting this journey on uh, social media, uh, YouTube. I wanted to take my family with me. Are you guys listening? So I wanted to take my family with me. I was like, oh, these are my family. So, you know, they can come and join me and, you know, they will support me because, you know, eventually they are family, okay? So because you have got that family, family, in your mind, family, idea that oh, you know they are they are nice family and uh, you know they can always support you and they can always zero ladies and gentlemen i was wrong so for the most of you guys why, why, am, I, why am i even making this video i want to prepare you guys you're going to be shocked for the most of you guys who are still believing oh my family they want the best for me they are very good people they are only very good people when you're not doing better than them 
I'll not even repeat that for you. They are only good people when you are not doing better than them. So when you are doing better than them, you're going to become a problem. Actually, you're going to become a threat. So on the journey when God is trying to change your life, okay? God is showing you somewhere else to go. Your eyes will not open until God has shown you who is around you. So all of a sudden your eyes will open and you'll see that, wow, this is unbelievable. Family members, you know, your brothers, your sisters, they're turning against you all of a sudden. They used to like you back in the days, even sometimes 24 hours ago. They were around you. They liked you. But the moment they discover what you want to do, where you're going, the game is changing. The game is going to change, ladies and gentlemen, and they're going to turn against you. So God shows you this thing for a purpose. God shows you these people for a purpose, okay? God is showing you these people for a purpose. God knows that these people, if you ever start your craft and whatever it is you want, whatever direction, whatever journey it is you want to create for yourself, whatever it is you want to do for yourself, you, are, you, you embark on this journey and you become successful. God knows that these people are going to bring you down. He knows that these people they are going to bring you down. You know, do, you know, do you know the reason as to why a lot of these big people that we celebrate? Do you know who brings them down? Ladies and gentlemen, this thing doesn't even require a rocket science to, to figure it out. Have you seen these big people? And have you asked yourself a question, who is really bringing down these people? The people that you celebrate, or you, you guys, you know, I, I don't really much into celebrities because I'm my own celebrity. But the people that you celebrate, ladies and gentlemen, do you know that the people who bring them down, they are the people in their bed. Recently, we have seen the story of uh, what's this guy, Steve Harvey, you know? Very big influential guy, motivational speaker. His own, his own wife. <laughs> his wife. He's the one who wants to divorce him after cheating on him, and now she wants half of the money. Half of his, half of his uh, whatever, net worth. So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, we need to listen to the signs. And most of the times, you can even find that Steve Harvey had the signs in the beginning, but he didn't listen. You may sometimes find out that initially when he met that woman, that wife, Marjorie, whatever, he's very, there's a very big chance God showed him the signs in that moment, but he didn't listen. So he may have ignored the red flags. He may have seen the red flags initially, but he ignored those red flags. But there's a chance. Because you see, most of the times when God is pushing you somewhere, and elevating you somewhere, you know, marriages, growth, I don't know, business or success, whatever. God has got to show you somebody who is around you. There is going to be something. The only thing what maybe in that time you didn't see because your intuition was turned off. So you could not actually understand what God was saying. But that person that was around you was the problem. There was a person around you that one you you that person was not supposed to move with you that person was not supposed to go with you ladies and gentlemen for, for the most of you guys who want to get started you know get married relationships all these kind of things starting businesses i don't know starting youtube whatever anything you want to go any journey you want to start anywhere you want to go ladies and gentlemen look around you god is showing you signs listen very closely i can tell you something personally on my wedding day when I was going to get married back then, I felt a very strong pain in my stomach. There was this thing in my gut. I was like, why am I so uncomfortable about this wedding? On that particular day, if it wasn't that I had invited so many people on that wedding day, people to come around and, you know, celebrate with us, I would have canceled that wedding. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I would have canceled the wedding because I was feeling something telling me that. Denzel, are you really sure that you want to get married? Is this the right person you want to be with? Because you see that in, that in those days, I had started picking up a lot of these red flags, you know what I mean? So, 
I did not listen to my intuition. I did not listen to my God. But I got the signs at that time. In those last days towards the marriage, I got the signs. But I just didn't listen to my intuition. I just kept on going. And you know what happened? That is how I ended up all this entire time with the narcissist. Well, I don't regret it because at the end of the day, it could have been divine intervention to bring me where I am today. But at the end of the day, I understand that there was signs in that time. You know, guys, when you talk about this thing of success, the people who bring you down, the people who destroy you, the people who bring you down, they are very close to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the people that are not coming from a different country, they are not flying, flying in from another continent, the people that are going to bring you down, the very first people to destroy you, they are the ones in your bed. He's not a stranger. He's your family members, ladies and gentlemen. He's your father, he's your mother, you know? So sometimes... We have got to learn how to listen to our intuition. You know, when, when, when God is speaking to you, God is going to use intuition. You will feel that thing in your gut. There is something in your gut telling you that there is something wrong with this person. Your spirit is rejecting that person in, in, entirely, you know. Or if that person has been a part of you most of the times, they have been a part of you for a long period of time. You can find cases whereby God is starting to show you the other side of that person. So now all of a sudden they are toxic. They are starting to move in a different way. They are telling you things they shouldn't say. You're, starting, you're seeing them starting to move in a different way and you're starting to feel that these individuals, if you keep them on your journey, if you keep them on your path, you're most likely going to end up in a very bad situation. So sometimes God is telling you that those are the enemies next to you right there. Let them go. You know? But you know, for the empath, it's always difficult. For the empath, you know, for, so the reason why a lot of empaths suffer, uh, suffer. Because empaths, you have got this thing in your mind. You want to believe you have got that thing in your gut what, 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 which is telling you that everybody around you is good. So you have got that belief that because you're a good person, you mean well for people. You always want to have it in your, in your mind that everybody around you is the same like you. So you want to think that everybody thinks like you, everybody feels like you. You know, you have got emotions, you have got empathy, and sometimes you want to believe that everybody around you has got empathy. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen robots. I have been with people, these narcissists, they are, they are simply robots. They do not have anything inside of them. But me, in the beginning, I used to think they were like me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not everybody is an empath. Not everyone is like you. So, the whole, the whole purpose of this video is to let you know that whatever God is trying to take you, and whatever destination God wants for you, there is, just, there is some people that are not going to come with you. You know, however much you really appreciate these people, you love them, they're your family, they're your friends. Even sometimes God is going to make you separate from you, from your own wife, your own partner that you think that you love from their one. You're going to go through a separation. Ladies and gentlemen, if I wasn't shown who a narcissist was, I wouldn't have gotten the separation that I wanted. And I wouldn't be here today teaching you. So I was most likely who could be there, you know, still going in circles of trauma and everything, you know. The love bombs and the devaluations and everything. I would still be in those kind of cycles, but God has to show me that, listen, Desmos, I want to take you somewhere else, okay? But there's this person around you that needs to go. So what, the, what, what now God does, God opens your eyes now. And now you're able to see that person for who they are. So that's how, I, that's how I was able to figure out who a narcissist was. And I could get out and defend myself and protect myself. You know? So these all circumstances and events are the ones which have led me to this path of which I am today. Which I understand now, looking back, that God had always wanted to put me on this path. Okay? But the reasons why my eyes were still blind and I couldn't see this path was because there was somebody around me that had to go. Okay? So there was somebody around me that I didn't know for so many years and that person had to go. So it was only through letting that person go that I'll be able now to get on this path. So for the most of you guys who are embarking on this journey of growth and whatever spiritual growth and development, 
in my videos, so many times you hear me talking about something, you are going to let people go, okay? You are going to let people go. Sometimes you may let them go yourself, or sometimes God will actually reveal those people to you so that now you can let them go. Because now you understand who they are, because they are not supposed to be, they are not for you. And they are not supposed to be a part of your team. You will let them go. You will mourn the loss. You will feel the loss. But you will also understand, ladies and gentlemen, that when you heal, God is now going to reveal the path that was supposed to be for you. He's now going to open your eyes. Okay, so listen, Benzomos, that's where I wanted you to go. And then now you're looking back and you're thinking, wow, you know? You're looking back in the years and you're feeling like, oh, I used to be married to this person. I used to be, I used to be dating that woman. I used to be dating this guy. And now you're seeing where you were and you're really figuring out that that person was not supposed to be on that path. Ladies and gentlemen, let me repeat this for you one more time. I've been on this journey, so I teach you the things that are going to help you along the way. A time will be, a time will present itself to you when you will remember that many years ago you was involved with a certain individual. And now you're looking at your path, whatever it is you're doing for yourself, the craft you are, you are on, the path you are on, the journey that you're on, whatever it is. And now you're starting to understand the reason why you had to let that to let that person go. You're now thinking that, oh, now you understand the reason why God showed you that person many years ago and why you went through a divorce, why you went through a separation, why you went through the pain. So it is because God was supposed to remove that person out of your life so that you can evolve. I'm telling you these things, ladies and gentlemen. It's why I've told you in the beginning of this video. A lot of these successful people, the people that we celebrate, the people that we adore, you can go and sit down with them. They will tell you at one point. Recently, I saw this uh, many a couple of months ago. I was seeing, I was going through these videos about 50 Cent, and now we started breaking up with this, uh, you know, G Unit, uh, whatever, you know? The, the other team from the G Unit. You guys have seen these groups of these stars and whatever. There have been groups, and then after they broke up, they started splitting. They were splitting for a reason because they were not supposed to be each other. They were not for each other. They were together, but they were not for each other. So they were not supposed to move along together. They were supposed to go different directions. So when you see a lot of them now, like 50, whatever he's doing now, he's now understanding that those guys were not supposed to be a part of him at some point in time. They were not supposed to walk along with him, so he had to he had to release them and let them go so that he can move wherever he wanted to go. You know what I mean? So sometimes there is people, what I'm telling you, the people that we celebrate, they have let some people go so that they can evolve and go towards where they want to be. Is what I'm what I'm noticing nowadays on my journey. So God is revealing these people for a purpose, for a reason. God is trying to take you somewhere, okay, and put you on a different path. But there is some people that are not supposed to be of you, to be for you, to be with you, to be along alongside you. They are not, there are some people you, are not, you cannot take these people with you because if you put these people on board, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to be where you want to be. So they have to go. And most of the times what God will do, open your eyes first, show you these videos, now you can release them. If you cannot release them, God is going to release those people by force. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about it. It's been a morning motivation. I wanted to motivate you for the most of you guys who are on this journey of growth and development. I'll end this video by telling you that, ladies and gentlemen, master the art of releasing people, okay? It's going to be difficult. You're an empath. You're highly emotional. You feel for everybody. You want everybody around you. You want, you know, you are this beautiful person, okay? Everything is okay. We are all empaths, ladies and gentlemen. But master the art of releasing people and getting people out of your life. It's going to be difficult. You are going to mourn sometimes the loss of friends and family. But they are supposed to go for 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 your own good, okay? So let me know think about this video in the comment section below. You know, you guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll
catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.